Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's tutorial covers uh, one of the most requested and searched topics on YouTube. So uh, how to use an external hard drive as your sound library database without copying everything to your internal hard drive. So uh, this is simple direct plug and play method uh, that saves your uh, time and storage and keeps your workflow smooth for music production. Uh, it's perfect for uh, producers with large sound packs and uh, you know uh, sim sample libraries and VST presets who don't want to overload their uh, internal storage. So let's start. You can see here, so I have my external drive, I'm using the 8 GB uh, pen drive. So basically I don't have, uh, you know, uh, uh, the total sound library. So uh, with a huge, uh, you know, database. So I'm just uh, giving a demonstration here. So uh, using a pen drive. So it's a, a, a same process for external hard drive. So with the, you know, uh, loaded, uh, you know, uh, library files. So basically, so here I have a demo uh, folder here. So uh, with the Nexus, uh, you know, uh, content. I'm just copying this uh, skin, uh, you know, folder from my internal hard drive to uh, the external drive. So even that works uh, with the, you know, external drive. And uh, this is very important as I told you. So this file, if you don't have uh, this uh, location update file, you can copy from your Nexus library. This is an update uh, Nexus uh, library location. So this is basically an application. So once you're done with the you know configuration, so you have to update the Nexus library location inside your external drive. That is very important. Uh, to configure uh, the setting uh, so we need this external drives link uh, drive link so uh, what you can do is you can uh, go to your external hard drive open that and uh, open your uh, you know particular uh, sound library folder so and basically this location is required so you you have to copy this location you can make a note in notepad also so so go to your public uh, public document user public public document and uh, here uh, you have to uh, go to nexus folder not nexus library so you have to go to nexus folder so wherein you can find the settings over here so you have to open uh, with notepad so when we open so if it doesn't show anything over here so go to more apps then you have to select notepad and open So uh, this is the library folder location. So the current location is my internal drive. You can see C drive, internal drive. So the external drive link, whatever you have copied, you have to paste it over here. So that is with two quotes. So don't remove quotes. Just paste it. And one important thing. So you have to add one slash. So basically uh, uh, it comes with double slash. At the bottom in the user folder you can see all with the double slash so same procedure we have to follow here for that location so save it let's close everything now important thing so you have to update the nexus library location once you are done with the settings over there so this is very important now open your door so i'm using apple studio so 
go to Nexus plugin, refresh the plugin uh, database once, go to Nexus uh, plugin. So uh, now we can see this Nexus 3 factory presets are uh, you know visible uh, over here in the folders. Let's open a file explorer over here. So uh, let's check the file I know uh, location. Show in explorer. So here you can see the path. So this is F drive and F drive is it's my external hard drive. So it's simple you can just plug and play so whenever uh, you're done with the you know uh, production uh, work so you can just uh, eject the hard drive and you can close and if you want to uh, come back again so uh, with the sound library samples and all if you want to you know uh, work around so you can plug and play that's all so need not uh, you know update the library locations every now and then so that's all so and uh, I'll show you the process uh, even if you want to go back to your internal drive uh, you know uh, uh, library folder so how to configure so how to configure uh, back to your internal uh, library folder let's uh, eject the hard drive Now if you see uh, uh, in Nexus plugin, there is no uh, you know, presets or samples, nothing is there. So since we have already ejected, since we have already removed our external drive, so we don't see anything. Now let's update our uh, you know, internal library folder. If you want to continue with your external drive itself, need not change again for uh, you know internal library folder. This is just a procedure I'm showing uh, to you know how to set up, uh, how to go back to your uh, internal library folders again. Let's open our Nexus library internal folder. L uh, let's uh, copy the path. Copy the path. Public document, Nexus. Now again, go back to settings. Open with Notepad. Wherever you have, uh, you know, uh, copied uh, your external drive uh, path, so there again you have to paste it. I mean, uh, you have to paste your uh, internal library path. So again, you have to add uh, slashes. Basically, uh, it will be a double slash. don't add uh, any extra slashes so wherever it is there so you can add that's all so and save it now again we have to update our nexus library location here with the application So now you can see, so uh, whatever internal drive ka Nexus library presets I have, it's showing. So that's all guys. So you can use, uh, you know, the huge uh, database of, uh, you know, sound library files, presets and expansions using your external hard drive. So need not copy anything to your internal drive. So it saves your time, saves your storage that's all for now so thanks a lot thanks for watching have a nice day